This is a cheap Chinese carbon e-bike frame. And this is the new EU legal Bafang M510 motor, 95 newton meters. And this is a huge 840 watt hour internal battery. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a high performance electric mountain bike that will not only look great, it'll also perform at a high level, but it will cost a fraction of what you would spend with one of the bigger brands. And this new motor from Bafang could actually be faster and more powerful than all of the other mainstream motors currently on the market. So this is my DIY electric mountain bike, and I affectionately call it the Cheeb. There's no getting away from it. Stuff right now is expensive. Supply of raw materials for bikes is also tight, leading to long delays on many bikes, and brands also being forced to push up prices of bikes. Well, time to take matters into our own hands, maybe. I'll share a source for quality carbon fiber frames and proven motors. Then, just like me, you can pick and choose components to build the rest of the bike with. But first, let's take a look at this frame in a bit more detail. This is the Dengfu E10, it's called. It's a carbon fiber frame, full carbon fiber front triangle and rear triangle. They painted this for me and they matched a previous paint spray job that I did myself and they matched it almost spot on from the video. Now you can get it in a raw carbon finish or you can get them to paint it. They do charge a little bit extra if you have it painted, but the frame on its own is 799 US dollars, which uh, is about 640 pounds. And that's for the entire frame, all of the parts that you're gonna need to build your own DIY electric mountain bike. So check it out, the finish. It's really nice. It's got this really kind of two-tone paint job on it, which uh, kind of moves between purple and uh, like a bluey color. So let's take a look at the build quality of the frame. This is where the battery goes, carbon fiber battery plate. Gotta say it looks pretty good. It's got cable guides in here. Yeah, XL carbon electric mountain bike frame for $799. If you compare that to some of the big brands frames, some of them are four, five, six thousand dollars just for the frame. We're gonna build an entire electric mountain bike for under 2,999 pounds. When the cost of pretty much everything in the world has risen, fuel costs, energy costs, everything we do now costs more. I'm gonna show you that you don't have to spend a huge amount of money on an electric mountain bike. So let's go through some other parts. We've got the full carbon fiber frame. That's the front triangle and the rear triangle just over here, they give you all the parts to put it together. It's really simple. And now something I'm really excited about is this motor. This is brand new from Bafang. It's called the M510. I tested the previous generation. This is newer, it's lighter, and it's got more power. So this electric mountain bike motor from Bafang is 95 Newton meters. So more powerful on paper than the Bosch, the Bros, the Yamaha, the Shimano, and it's lighter than the previous generation. $699 for this and all the parts that you need, like the screen, all the wiring, everything you need to put it into this bike. So frame, motor, and finally to complete the actual electric bike parts is the battery. This is a 48 volt, 840 watt hour internal battery. And the price of this was $460. And it's made to work with this exact frame here. So it's the custom made battery that will fit just into there and yeah, $460 for an 840 watt hour battery. So 48 volts, it says it's got LG cells inside here. So all of that stuff there is gonna form the basis of this electric mountain bike. And over the past couple of months, while I've been waiting for everything to be delivered, I've been shopping for some components and I found some amazing deals on real quality branded components. If you are not looking for like the latest 2022 models, you can find some amazing kits. So let me show you. So this fork from RockShox, it's the RockShox Yari. This normally would cost an RRP of like four, 500 pounds, but it's not the latest model. I don't care because it's still a quality fork and it's gonna partner well with this frame. And the same for things like the drivetrain. I've gone for a Shimano Dior 12-speed drivetrain that um, you can get for real cheap if you shop around and 
even if you're willing to order from overseas you might wait a little bit longer but you can get stuff at a absolute bargain price so all in this has cost me so far 2850 pounds now that's around $3,499, but you can find cheaper kit. You can get even cheaper wheel sets if you want to. And if you're willing to take a little bit of a risk, you could get non-branded cheaper suspension from AliExpress or Alibaba. But I wanted to stay with some branded stuff that I've tested before and I'm comfortable is not gonna break on the first couple of rides. So let's get this in the stand and start building up this super cheap, Cheap version two. The first thing I like to do is a dry run. I assemble everything out in front of me before I start bolting it all together. That way I can check I have everything I need, including all the tools. Then it's like a jigsaw. In fact, it's actually more like a big Lego set for adults. It's kind of fun. Most of the frames come with all of this linkage already built and installed but my custom painted version didn't, so I had to assemble it myself. All of the bearings are included. I just needed to add some PT spike assembly grease and some basic tools. When it came to assembling the components to the frame, I started with the dropper post first, so I could use it as a stand holder. Then it was time to install the forks and suspension. Again, it's all pretty standard, straightforward stuff. There's not really many specialist tools you need other than this bearing press, and you could buy one and use it again at a later date, or you could see if your bike shop can do it for you. But that really is the hardest part, pressing in the headset bearing. Cutting the fork and getting all the shock and the components to fit is just like a regular mountain bike. It's pretty straightforward. The thing I really like about this Bafang kit is everything is colour coded so it's simple to connect everything together. You don't really need any kind of motor or electrical knowledge whatsoever. As long as you can read a colour, this one's purple, this goes from the screen to the controller. Uh, it's all plug and play, it's super simple and it's exactly the same with all the wiring inside and all the connections to the motor. So the bike is really starting to come together now. Rear suspension in, all the linkage on, front forks on, cable routing done for the back brake and for the dropper. I think one of the most important things when you're doing something like this is having a nice open space, really good lighting and some good tools and somewhere to put all your stuff because there are a few little bits and pieces and even here in this kind of nice space, I drop things here and there and put my tools down and can't find them. So I would really recommend if you're gonna build something, having a nice workspace, a decent stand, like this park tool stand, and some nice lighting to really help you out. So on with the build then. I'm running this as a full 29er. I've chose these Continental tires, which are pretty cheap. I'm gonna make them tubeless with some of this PT sealant. So it's gonna be a full 29er and 160 millimeters of front travel and 150 millimeters of rear wheel travel.
So we've got pretty much everything built on the bike, uh, bike-wise, not electronics. So wheels, drivetrain, all the cables, all the routing done, suspension. Uh, next, I'm going to put in the uh, yeah the motor and the battery and connect it all up and hope it works. So now we'll put the battery in and hope it turns on. Here we go. Yes. Yes, that is the sign of success. The screen is on. Controller works, cycles through all the modes. Brilliant. So, yeah, that means it's all connected. All my wiring worked. Neat. So, with the bike all working, it's time to put on some final touches and personalize this electric bike. Okay, first thing I want to do is actually weigh it. A lot of e-bikes now are 24, 25 kilos. Let's see what this one weighs, this cheap e-bike. <laughs> that is actually not too bad, considering it's got downhill tires, basic everything, entry-level Dior 12 speed, heavy stuff, like there's nothing carbon other than the frame, budget stuff, yeah, it doesn't have to weigh a lot. 24 kilos, 23.98 kilos. I'm really impressed with that. So the final part of the build is a quick test run. Yes. It's fast. <laughs> it's well quick. I think it might be quicker than the boss and the bros <laughs> this is seriously quick make sure you're subscribed because next will be a proper ride review i think it could be the quickest legal electric mountain bike motor that's out there right now